Are you stressed out trying to keep up with rapid fire developments in humanoid robotics? You're right where you should be to keep you in the know. Here's the latest in humanoid robots, including a preview of what Figure calls the most advanced humanoid robot ever. NVIDIA's tools for accelerating deployment, the push for physical AI, and a budget-friendly option for do-it-yourself first, plus a throwback and more updates you probably missed if you blinked. Remember to subscribe to stay up to date as humanoid robotic technology advances rapidly. Leave a comment to suggest humanoid robots to cover in future roundups. Figure just unveiled its newest humanoid robot. Figure 2. We dig into all the details where this robot fits into an increasingly crowded field of humanoid robots and what comes next. As you can see, the wires are more tucked away in this model, indicating the company is moving away from the prototyping phase when you might want easy access to different components for fixes and adjustments towards something closer to a production model. Tucking away the wires is a common evolution we've seen in other second-generation humanoid robots, including the Tesla Bot and Atlas from Boston Dynamics. Six onboard cameras provide the figure two with its view of the world, and hands with 10 fingers and 16 degrees of freedom will have what figure calls, quote, human-like strength. A close-up shot of the hands includes the words max 25 kilograms, which is about 55 pounds. That would be an increase from Figure 1's carrying capacity of 20 kilograms, or 44 pounds. Figure says improvements to the battery pack, which is built into the robot's torso, extend the robot's original 5-hour runtime by providing over 50% more energy. Figure also has a partnership with OpenAI, which allows people to converse with the robot via built-in speakers and microphones. Much like the conversational feature in ChatGPT mobile app, the robot's computer vision system allows it to identify objects. What the fun fact, OpenAI also has a system for visual recognition. It demonstrated as part of its ChatGPT4, oh, reveal. But Figure hasn't shared whether or not that feature is part of its OpenAI partnership. Figure 2 will have three times the amount of computing power as the previous generation, which the company says, quote, enables real-world AI tasks to be performed fully autonomously. That's a lot of jargon, but we can unpack it a bit by looking at the videos. Figure has shared of its previous robot demos of the figure, one reveals the robot is trained in simulation, which is common in the robotics industry because simulation is faster and simulated spills can't damage the hardware. It also learns by observing humans performing the tasks and then mimicking them. Another common technique in robotics training, put simply, it looks like Figure is designed to take voice commands that perform tasks it's been trained to do via simulation and observing human demonstrators on it. For example, when it said, so I gave you the apple because it's the only edible item I could provide you with from the table. Figure has also embarked on a partnership with BMW, figuring out how these robots could be deployed in automobile manufacturing and putting them to the test in a video demonstration of a possible use case in BMW manufacturing. The robot can be seen picking and placing different parts, even gently correcting some of its mistakes. Like most other humanoid robotics companies, Figure is aiming at the labor market, specifically warehouses. The company's website points to 10 million unfilled jobs in the United States and anxiety among employers that they may be unable to keep them staffed due to high attrition rates. This is an extremely familiar pitch across the humanoid robotics industry. Figure says it aims to have its robots doing jobs that are, quote, unsafe or undesirable. Tesla's robots are made for tasks that are, quote, unsafe, repetitive, or boring. And Boston Dynamics hit us with that alliteration, saying its robots are made for jobs that are, quote, dull, dirty, and dangerous. I look forward to seeing demos of the figure too. I would especially like to see it in more real-world settings, like what Agility Robotics and Boston Dynamics have done with their humanoid robots. This is the most advanced humanoid robot on the planet. That's according to the CEO of Figure the OpenAI back startup whose humanoid robot is now working at a BMW factory. Brett Adcock announced on X that Figure 02, which follows the Figure 01 already unveiled. Figure released a teaser that VentureBeat notes is short on specifics, but heavy on vice. The figure O1 humanoid robot recently started working at the BMW plant in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Figure describes itself as a first of its kind. 
AI robotics company bringing a general-purpose humanoid robot to life. Earlier this year, Figure announced it had secured $675 million in funding from OpenAI and others. The partnership accelerated development of Figure One's conversational ability. Weeks after the February announcement, Figure released footage of the robot conversing in real time. Now get this. NVIDIA has released new tools aimed at accelerating the deployment of humanoid robots worldwide. The tech giant just announced the suite of tools for robot simulation. Learning and training a new humanoid robot developer program provides early access to the tools with companies like Boston Dynamics and Bike Dance already participating. NVIDIA says its NIM microservices can reduce robot deployment times from weeks to minutes. The Mimic Gen NIM microservice creates synthetic motion data, while the RoboCase NIM microservice makes simulation-ready environments. Osmo NVIDIA's cloud-based service simplifies robot training and simulation. The company says it cuts development times from months to under a week. Teleoperation, which captures human actions to train robots, can be done faster and cheaper with NVIDIA's AI and Omniverse digital twin tools. The software is compatible with the Apple Vision Pro, which captures human demonstrations that are simulated and expanded into large data sets for training robots. NVIDIA has been vocal about humanoid robots, investing heavily in their development and capabilities. Program members get early access to foundational models in NVIDIA's project group. The project announced earlier in 2024 uses NVIDIA's tech to teach robots how to move and interpret human language. A robotic startup could use a foundational model with their hardware as a starting point. Since the model already knows a lot, the startup can focus on teaching the robot to perform tasks that can't yet be automated. Now check out this recent update. Menti Robotics says a large international retailer suggested deploying robots to push shopping carts for the elderly. The Israeli company says it was also approached by a nursing home chain considering robotics to remedy labor shortages. In response, the team quickly developed a robot that could grab a shopping cart and follow someone in a wheelchair. The robot stops when its shopping companion does and pushes the cart smoothly. The robot is expected to be available to select customers in 2025. And finally, one more you need to know. Robot success increases by over 67% using digital twins of real-world locations for training. That's according to researchers from the US and Germany who developed a new method for training robots with computer simulations called Real to Sim to Real, or Rialto First. The physical location is scanned to create a detailed digital copy. With that, a digital twin is built that reflects the physical space in real time. The robot software operates in the virtual environment, letting it see and interact with objects as if they were real. The researchers are affiliated with the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, the University of Washington, and the Technical University of Darmstadt. The study was partly funded by the Sony Research Award Program, the U.S. federal government, and Hyundai. So, what do you think of humanoid robots? Handy helpers or soulless jobs? Dealers? Let us know down in the comments. And don't you go anywhere because this video right here will surely shock you.